Welcome everybody to Apple Insider. It is Andrew here and this is the brand new Logitech MX Anywhere 3 for Mac. This is basically my new go-to portable mouse. Heck, this is even great for the desktop as well as for taking on the go. And it works great for iPad as well. So let's go ahead and dive into this a little bit deeper. So here we go, this is the mouse. It is similar in a lot of ways to the MX Master 3 and we'll actually do a little bit of a compare later on in this video. So you have your left and your right click, you have your mag wheel to scroll, which can also depress down, you have a button behind the wheel, then we have two additional buttons here on the side. The idea is Logitech is packing a ton of functionality here into this mouse while keeping that portable size so it's not as large and rather bulky like the MX Master 3 mouse is. It's got a great compact shape, it feels great in the hand, it's super ergonomic, and it is absolutely premium. I don't think I can say enough nice things about that mag wheel. I mean, it is steel, it feels great, it's just awesome. This does ship with USB-C, and that's one of the biggest differences between this one and the Windows version. The Mac version does not include the little IR receiver, instead it uses just a USB-C to USB-C cable. The Windows version, they also have to include that IR receiver because Windows users tend to like those and they use a USB-C to USB-A cable. Us Mac users are USB-C all the way. It is essentially a free spinning steel wheel, but it is controlled by magnets. Now when you go slowly, it actually, you can feel a click as those magnets are kind of clicking around. And then when you push harder to spin, it'll actually free spin and you can scroll really quickly but you can get further to customize all of this stuff through Logitech's companion software. The MX Anywhere 3 is really about adding more and more functionality through software as well as excellent hardware. For example, you can change what the click does when you press on the scroll wheel, or the button that is behind the scroll wheel, maybe that does something different. Maybe that opens up App Expose or shows your desktop when you press on that instead of changing the mode of the scroll wheel. You can change your pointer speed, scroll speed, all of that, but what is really cool is the scroll force. This is new and not even on the MX Master 3, which has a very similar mag scroll wheel. Basically, this is how much of a feel you can feel when you move the wheel. The more force is exerted on your finger, it gives you more prominent notching feel versus a more free spinning one, and you can control that all here through the software. It is absolutely cool. We also love how you can control this per app. So maybe inside of Final Cut, I wanna do different things. So here there's a bunch of defaults already done, such as pressing on that scroll wheel will play and pause, and the buttons on the side will undo and redo. And if you're in Safari, maybe those will take you backward and forward. Now I was able to change that scroll wheel a little bit, so I can change it to my preference. But that button behind it, by default, is the mode switching wheel. And you can change it from completely free spinning or with those notches. And it's really cool to turn that on and off. You can really feel the difference between just pressing it and spinning it freely just like that. And then we can go ahead and press the button. So there is free spinning. I can press the button and now it is notching. And there's actually kind of a click every time that it spins through a line. It is very neat to be able to go between those two, control the force. Uh, it's really up to you to customize how this mouse works and feels for your apps and everything. But it even gets better because this thing works great on iPad. You can charge it from your iPad. Scrolling works very smoothly, though there's sometimes a little bit of an over-scroll situation, like right there, but that's more on iPad OS than it is on the mouse. One of my favorite hidden secrets, though, is horizontal scrolling. If we go here into maybe iMovie, in the tribute video I made, I can hold down one of the two side buttons. Either one, doesn't matter. So I press it down, and now I scroll with the wheel. It'll scroll horizontally. So if you're in something like a spreadsheet, you can scroll up and down with the wheel, hold the side button, and then scroll with the wheel again to move side to side. So with the MX Anywhere 3, you have horizontal scrolling, working natively out of the box here on iPad with iPad OS. If you also saw at the beginning, there's a quick switch button at the bottom. You can connect this thing to up to three devices, which is pretty much perfect, because I have my Mac Pro, my MacBook Pro, and my iPad and I just assigned each of those to a different one of those connection points on this mouse. I just turn it over, press the button, and I'm jumping to the next device. I can jump from my Mac Pro to my laptop to my iPad, just depending on where I am. We also wanna compare this to the MX Master 3 here on the right. You can see there's a pretty big size difference between the two. The MX Master 3 is renowned for its very ergonomic shape, but it is huge and bulky if you're trying to take this on the go. 
There are a couple additional buttons on the MX Master 3, such as pushing down on your thumb to the ground, there's a little button there, and there's also that horizontal scrolling wheel, whereas on the MX Anywhere 3, you have to use that additional gesture of holding the button while scrolling with the wheel. But the MX Anywhere 3 also has a little bit of a better scroll wheel because you can control the force of it, as we mentioned earlier. Honestly, for the trade off of the portability, I think I'm leaning towards the MX Anywhere 3, though you really can't beat the MX Master 3 either. In today's world, we're really working everywhere. We are working from home, we are working on the go, and you need a mouse that's going to do that with you. The MX Anywhere 3 really works anywhere. We tried it on every surface in our house. Glass, granite, wood, um, laminate, really anything that we had around it, this thing was able to track on. It is very small, portable, worked anywhere that we took it, and it worked on all of our devices seamlessly over Bluetooth. It's also very cool to see how Logitech is adding additional functionality and value to their hardware with that software. I love that when I'm in Final Cut, I have precision control that I can use to scroll through the timeline, play and pause without having to move my hand on the keyboard. It just makes working very easy. And there's a ton of presets for a bunch of different applications that you're probably already using. Like Zoom, being able to use the side buttons to automatically mute or stop your video, or in Safari, whatever it is that you've got going on. The Logitech MX Anywhere 3 is available now for you guys to grab, especially in this Mac specific version. Take the plunge and go grab yours at the link below.